Well, inside these small tree samples at Oak Ridge National Laboratory is what scientists believe could predict if someone will be diagnosed with cancer. 10 News reporter Shannon Smith walks us through this groundbreaking discovery, which researchers say was made accidentally. Shannon. Robin, geneticists at ORNL started looking at poplar trees as a way to create better renewable resources. Along the way, they saw that the tree's DNA are responsible for forming growths that are identical to the genes in humans that form cancerous tumors. Now they're finding ways to use these genes in cancer research. Wellington Muchero and his colleagues spend a lot of their time with poplar trees. Everything is poplar right in here. The trees grow fast, which makes their DNA a good subject for studying renewable energy except that's not the only goal anymore. We found that those basic instructions that tell a cell how to behave at specific stages are exactly the same in a plant cell and a human cell. When cells start acting out of order, tumors grow. That's great for the poplar tree, but not so great for humans. The similarities between the two species genetically are nearly identical. We were able to link it directly uh, to breast cancer and testicular cancer in humans. Scientists were also able to link skin cancer and glucose regulation between poplars and people. We can do a lot more experiments in plants than we can do in humans. Like eventually testing cancer drugs. Can we test tumor suppressing uh, uh, chemicals or compounds or therapeutic targets and see if we can stop that that process in plants before it's even tested in humans. Muchero says these discoveries are big for cancer diagnoses and eventually prevention. Can we tell an individual ahead of time that they carry a DNA mutation that predisposes them uh, to a developmental condition or a cancer of, of, of some sort? That's something he's working on now by reaching out to human geneticists for the next step. And they can profile humans and start predicting who's uh, predisposed to what, to what kind of cancer. Definitely a lucky find there. Muchero says there's still a lot more research to be done and new discoveries are made constantly. It was just two months ago that they learned that they could help with diabetic research after seeing how poplars regulated their glucose, just like humans. Robin, John? It is mind blowing. Yeah. All right, Shannon, thank you.